Let's check out the top 10 new features available in RoadEng and Terrain Tools version 10. Number one on our list is editing features in the 3D window. In the Terrain module, you can now edit live in the 3D window, selecting points and features and being able to dynamically edit them in 3D. Number two on our list is image handling improvements. First of the image handling improvements is the ability to set transparency. So we've got that functionality added. Next, you've got the ability to use a tool called Move Size Rotate by Vectors. This is going to allow you to put images and other elements into place with each other. Here's another example of how we can use Move Size Rotate by Vectors. We've got a bridge deck and we're able to connect it to the abutments in our model. At number three on our list is 3D Facets. 3D Facets are a new property available in the Terrain module that can help us to better visualize objects and structures, such as a bridge deck, as well as the abutments and the armoring. Number four on our top 10 list are 3D Symbols. 3D Symbols are available in the Terrain module and can be assigned to any point or feature. You can select one of the defaults or standard symbols available, such as a windmill tower or trees. You can combine symbols and help to better visualize your project. Number five, hydrology tools. Two new hydrology tools available in version 10. The first is called Streams and Ponds, and it gives you the ability to automatically detect the presence of streams or ponds in your model. Second is catchment area by size. So here we're able to determine the area that would feed a particular point. Really useful if you're looking at culvert sizing or other watershed functions. Number six on our list and the last of our terrain module new functions is auto grading. Auto grading allows us to automatically balance the cut fill volumes for a pad or a graded object. Here we can specify the volume that's required as well as any expansion and compaction factors and automatically have our graded object balance. This removes some of the manual iteration that you were previously doing using the grading tool. Number seven on the list is corridor surfaces. In this significant functional improvement, you can create individual surfaces from corridors. Sections and profiles are available from those surfaces. Corridor surfaces can be ordered in construction sequence to create a merged surface. And this feature is useful for a variety of situations, including culverts, pipelines, road networks, intersections, site plans, parking or camping areas, and more. Number eight on our list is multi-attribute display shading. Plan window shading allows us to add a whole bunch of visual feedback as we're designing. For example, we can visualize our cut and fill as well as our grade. Number nine on the list are drafting improvements. Within our drafting improvements, there are a bunch of things that we've done to help improve the software for you. The first of which is section window banding. Here we're able to display properties such as the elevation for the ground, the elevation for the subgrade, and have these details shown below the cross sections. The next drafting improvement is Multiplot's ability to export to a single DWG file. This can include multiple pages and we're able to export them now as a single page. Other drafting improvements include profile subwindow curve display and improved subwindow sizing. At number 10 and last but not least on our list are export improvements. Here we've got the ability to export directly from location to a shape file as well as other export improvements such as being able to export terrains multiplot to an Avenza zip file. We hope you enjoyed this top 10 tour of new features available in RoadEng and Terrain Tools version 10. There's lots more other functions that we've included in the new version update. Be sure to go to our website, softtree.com version 10 to check out the features. Thanks for joining us.